Welcome back to part 9 of Life is Strange Before the Storm. It's been two weeks since I last uploaded, so I had to go back because I forgot a few things. But, uh, last episode was very eventful. We had Rachel get stabbed by Damon, who was the drug dealer's friend. Drug dealer's Frank, obviously. And now we're in the hospital. Um, we're about to go talk to Rachel, so I don't know what's going to happen. I'm so glad Rachel's okay. I really can't wait to see her. Well, I guess there are no visitors, so... We gotta wait to see her. Everything about this fire has been atypical. Those guys no look good. exhausted. Are you sure you heard right? Wildfires are usually a sign of danger. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little... Well... Guilty lately. Yeah, I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Mikey said he feels a lot safer around you. He's been seeming a little scared these days. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. But do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Chloe! Hey, you made it! Hey, Chloe. Hey, how's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one, so I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you. But I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was... stabbed in the arm. By... Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? 
What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Mary? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Yell at him? Like, a lot? In a stage manager voice. That is actually pretty scary. Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Hey, wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. You... Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll... Come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like we're in that hood. <laughs> oh. 
Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Your mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is... Will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has your number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. A uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's from Mikey. Were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. I guess I'll stop by. After I see Mikey. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you... Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. It's really... It's really not your business, Elliot. Okay. That's fair. Just remember I'm here, okay? 
if you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, <laughs> see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with... I'm not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? James sure keeps lots of files on people. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. What do we have here? I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. I feel like what we need is in that drawer. So we need to find a key somehow. I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm.
Salio. Welcome to Shadyville. to know who James is talking to on this secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Seems like a conversation with Damon. Definitely is. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. How do I get him to tell me? Shit. What do I say? I hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is, unless I send him a picture. Arcadia Bay is least wanted. Sarah sent all these letters. <laughs> Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a <laughs> it's the big one. <laughs> More sharing. I guess we need a picture of James. The only thing I can find is this picture, and we're not able to interact with it, so. Maybe I can look more over here. James sure keeps lots of files on people. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory.
Pro tip, when digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Sarah sent all these letters. The Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. I don't know where else to look. We have looked everywhere. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? Well, I guess that was it. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Oof. Better not touch that again. Damn. 
I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. This guy looks like a real tool. will be tougher than I thought. Maybe I should dig around for some evidence. Dude is six foot three, one eighty. He's tiny. Just thought I'd put that out there. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Okay, there's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit.
Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? I can't really talk about it. Rachel, Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. What is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I can't talk much about it. It has to do with Rachel's mother. Her real mother. And that explains you breaking into the DA's home and having this? Believe it or not, yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... Take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... You don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. Uh, I can see why you'd think that, but it wasn't her fault. It's never her fault. That's the point. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. <sighs> I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today that ever happened? Dude, you, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me. Not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. 
What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I feel trapped. Boxed in. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you. No matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. W what do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. 